Hello kids, Daddy's here. Right now, Daddy will show you an Australian drama film from 2011, titled Sleeping Beauty. Prepare your snacks to feel the cringe and crunch. Be a good kid and subscribe to Daddy's channel. Spoilers ahead, watch out. The film begins with a university student named Lucy who occasionally serves as a research subject in a science lab. To pay her tuition and rent, she works several jobs, including as a waitress at a restaurant after class. Despite the fact that Lucy lives in her sister's apartment, her sister's boyfriend demands her to pay the rent. Lucy pays the rent because she has no other option. The only person who matters to her is an alcoholic man named Birdman who finds her to be very attractive. The only time Lucy is shown smiling or laughing is when Birdman is around, indicating how much she enjoys his company. Birdman has frequently proposed to Lucy, but she has consistently declined because of his addiction and lack of money. One day, Lucy chooses to look for another part-time job that she found on the flyer. Lucy meets Clara, a businesswoman who combines catering and lingerie modeling at a black tie dinner party with mostly male guests. Clara reassures her that men are not permitted to make sexual advances toward the girls and the salary is $250 per hour. Lucy agrees to give it a try. Clara examines Lucy's smooth body. In order to maintain her anonymity, calls her Sarah. It's Lucy's first day of work. She starts to undress, exposing her uniform. She begins her job by pouring a drink as soon as the male guests arrive. When the session is over, Lucy has made some money that she starts to realize this is the moment when her life will start to change. One day after another session, she visits Birdman and asks him if he would like to marry her. Birdman says yes, however, the state of Birdman is beginning to get worse. Lucy, who now had some money, suggests that he undergo detox, but he doubted he could do it. Lucy gets a promotion and Clara offers her to voluntarily sedate it and sleep naked next to male clients. Although they are allowed to touch and cuddle her, penetration is not permitted. As soon as Lucy falls asleep, Clara leads her client. The man strips off after Clara warns him about the no penetration rule, then curls up next to Lucy. After a few of these sessions, Lucy has enough money to move into a larger, more expensive apartment, where she lives alone. One day while she is in class, she gets a call from Birdman, who has excess on painkillers. She rushes to Birdman's place. When she arrives, she discovers him lying in bed, dying. Sobbing, she takes off her shirt and gets in bed with him to spend her last time with Birdman. Birdman dies in her arms. At her next session, Lucy asks Clara if she can watch what goes on during the sessions while she is sleeping. Clara declines, claiming that her clients would be vulnerable to extortion. Lucy, however, wakes up and takes the tiny camera she had concealed in her mouth. She then decides to set the camera. The client is the first man again, but this time he also drinks the tea with a much larger dose of the sleeping drug. The next morning, Clara checks the man's pulse and doesn't seem surprised when she can't get him to wake up. Clara tries to wake Lucy, who has sedated as well and is eventually able to revive her using mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. When Lucy realizes the man next to her is dead, she screams. The film ends with the scene captured by Lucy's hidden camera, the dead old man and the sleeping girl both lying peacefully together in bed. That's all for today kids. Help daddy by like and subscribe. See you on the next videos.